Gentlemen, boys and girls, it's time for some Space News! <laughs> you were right on the money. Uh, we've got our money astronomer Dean Regas with us this morning to talk about this Space News. Yes, we have an actual astronomer. That's right. For Space News. It's not just the two of us who really don't know. Yeah, we just love it. <laughs> uh, but he can help us out. So, okay, here's the first Space News story of the day. Sometime between now and September, the night sky will brighten with the light of a new star being born in the Milky Way. Okay. This once in a lifetime celestial birth is called a nova. This new star will be made up for of two different stars and a dead white dwarf star and an aging red giant star. It Wait. sounds like something out of Hollywood. Yeah, Dean, explain this one to us. Yeah, so this is a uh, weird uh, binary star that they interact with each other. So some material gets like sucked from one to the other and it kind of makes this brighter light that uh, can be seen by the naked eye. So normally the star is way beyond naked eye vision and every so often it will brighten up. How much will brighten up? We don't know. Uh, but it's something to watch for from now till fall. So is it actually two stars or is it one star? It's a double star system. So like, you know, in our solar system... Like Tatooine? Is it like Tatooine? It's, uh, yeah, let's not get that far okay, away. Okay, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're in that realm of, you know, if like Luke Skywalker is going like this, looking out the double sunset, it's possible, yes. <laughs> wow. That's really neat, that's though. Really cool. Except for when it blows up, then it's then he's in big yeah. trouble. Not but, so cool yeah, anymore. Yeah. yeah, no, that's that's a neat one, though. Um, how, how about this? Have you ever wanted to be an astronaut? This could be your chance. NASA is accepting applications for astronauts. However, there's a fairly long list of requirements among them. You must have a master's degree in a STEM field. So if you're not really into the science, it's going to be a little rough on you. Uh, in addition, applicants must have a minimum of three years of related professional experience. So something like an astronaut. Uh, the ability to successfully complete NASA's long duration flight physical selected astronauts will join NASA's Artemis program, which is preparing to land the first woman and the next man on the moon. They'll explore and conduct experiments at the lunar south pole where humans have never been before. Wow. Now, Dean, for you, as, as an observer of the cosmos, did you ever want to go up there, or are you pretty cool standing here and looking up? I, I would totally go on a short mission. You yeah. know, like these longer missions that are going like to Mars. Like, right. uh, to go to the moon, it takes you about three days to get there. And so the round trip's about 10, 11 days when they're going to be doing this with Artemis. I do that. Um, yeah. To go to Mars, it's seven months to get there. Oh, wow. And that's why you got to train for those long yeah. duration ones. I don't think I want to be going that long. Yeah. So, Moon, yes. Mars, not so much. Not so much. Okay. Now, you're here and you're a fairly busy guy these days. I think that's fair to say. Right. Very popular always, but especially because it's eclipse season right now. I mean, something that we haven't, I don't think people realize what's about to happen if you're in the path of totality which is very important. Can you tell us kind of what the difference is in what you'll see if you're in a place that's not in that line that we keep seeing of totality and what you will see if you're in the totality path? Yeah, I mean, if you're in Cincinnati, we're gonna have 99% of the sun blocked out on April 8th, which sounds awesome, but it is it? Make sure you can. Ninety-nine percent sounds great, but you got to get to totality. It's okay. like you you go into the Super Bowl or not go into the Super Bowl. You got to see totality. So uh, you see those maps where this path is going, kind of from like. Uh, in Cincinnati, we're so close we to totality, are. but this is literally the most amazing astronomical thing you will ever see in your life and it's so close to us so uh, I know people are getting really psyched about it uh, April 8th is on been on my calendar for yeah. about 20 something years oh my gosh wow that's how big of a deal it is. this is huge <laughs> and so uh, just to have it this close to us is, is really exciting did you go to the last when there was and it was not in this part of the country but there was a a, a, a path of totality that crossed the country. I can't remember how many years ago it was now. Yeah. It wasn't that long ago. Did you go? Oh yeah, 2017. Yeah. Uh, that was the last total solar eclipse in the United States and it went down through uh, Kentucky and Tennessee. So right. I was in Franklin, Kentucky, got great views of it there. Uh, and it was visible through most, of the, it was uh, sunny on most of the most of the path. So yeah. this one's in April, which is a little dicier with weather. Uh, so that's the thing is you want to watch the weather forecast, see which direction you want to drive, west, There's south, map. or north. There's our map. And um, so the closest place for us in Cincinnati to go is Harrison, Ohio. So mm. Harrison is uh, going to get about a minute and a half of totality. Yeah. So a minute and a half of the sun blocked out. 
Uh, then you can go Middletown, uh, Hamilton, Monroe, Dayton. And, uh, Dayton. Monroe is just barely in there. Is it? Um, and uh, yeah, one of the more interesting places is uh, Jungle Gyms North is like <laughs> gonna get about 10, 15 seconds. Of oh, wow. Okay. Oh, so, so okay. Uh, but you know, that's not bad, but you wanna yeah. get more. The, more the closer to dead center you can get. The closer to dead center you get is better. better. You yeah. get about four minutes of totality there. Something that I've had a lot of questions from people, anytime I post something about this like on social media, is there a place that people can go where they could like put their address in or put a city in to see how long, if it's in the path of totality and how long, because I didn't realize it was that big of a difference that it could be four seconds versus four minutes. Oh yeah, yeah, so there's a interactive eclipse map. Uh, I, I, there's this one where you can click on this exact spot, it gives you the timing and all that. Nice. Uh, the address is kind of long, so best place to go, uh, you go to my Your uh, website, uh, website astrodean.com, go to the events page and it has some info about the eclipse and a link to that map. Okay. Because uh, that's a really good place to, to find out exactly where you want to go. I have like, 10 potential places uh, that I could go depending on the weather. Anywhere from Arkansas all the way to <laughs> Buffalo right. is my driving range. So there you go. I'm hoping I don't have to go very far, but uh, it's really awesome. You know, for someone who, who has experienced it before, for people who are sitting out there going, it's two minutes, it's three minutes. What, what would you say to them about this event, despite the, uh, the shortness of the duration that makes it so spectacular? Well, it's the whole experience. It's not just the sun being blocked out, it's the whole sky, it's the whole vibe of it. Because basically, a shadow will sweep across the land, you'll plunge into this twilight where the sky turns an eerie purple silver color, the sun is gone, the temperature drops 15 to 20 degrees, oh, wow. the stars pop out in the Does middle of the daytime. Does it drop that much? It is chilly. That's wild. And, um, and so it's, it's one of those things that just it comes over you and then it's gone and disappears just like that and you're like, did it's that just, just happen? happen? Yeah. Like it, 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 it's really like a dream. And uh, uh, I, I, it, it's a, a pretty good rush, I gotta say, because people that see these, they start to get hooked on them. Yeah. So you gotta watch out. I mean, it really is the most amazing thing now, to see. The most important oh, thing yes. of the day is to make sure that you have these, whether you're in the path of totality or not, right? Because e no matter when you're looking up, you need to have these on. Yeah, so uh, if even a little sliver of sunlight is showing, you have to have these specialized eclipse glasses. So uh, for Cincinnatians, we're 99%. Even 1% of the sun showing, you still have to have yeah. the glasses. Um, so you can use these for uh, safe viewing of the sun anytime. Uh, there's also these viewers. These are, these are uh, cool. ones that are really great because you can put your phone behind these no! and take pictures of super it. Super smart, super smart. Just like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That works. And you can even uh, use these to like convert them into bigger filters too for binoculars and that kind of thing. So the key thing is you get your filter in front of your eye or in front of your camera, then you're in good shape. When it's, and, and probably I shouldn't even bring this up, but when it's completely blocked, can you look up? Yeah, so that's the that's the part is when it's in totality. If you're in totality, you, you have to be in totality. You have to be in totality. So yeah, one percent showing. You got to have this totality. Then you can take these off. And so the rule of thumb is you're watching the sun through these, and the second you can't see anything through this, that oh. means it's dark enough. That you can take look. them off. Okay. Yeah. I love it. It's awesome. Yeah. Wow. I and love it. You have all these on your website as well. I do. So yeah, if you go to astrodean.com, it's got the info about the eclipse and then uh, where you can get some glasses. And this is the, the, actually we're getting so close. Like this is the last week that I'm shipping these out. Okay. So get them uh, now. Get them now. Um, and then uh, also this is Saturday, I'm doing an event at Alt Park uh, called Beautiful. Telescope Fest. Uh, so five to seven o'clock, we'll have about, uh, I think I'm up to about 25 telescopes we'll be having oh, set up there at nice. the park. And we'll have some glasses there. So uh, that's gonna be really fun. And I think the weather's gonna be okay. Good, so plus you got the, I was out there this week for the weeping cherries. Oh, and I know, it, it's so, so that's beautiful. beautiful. And you'll get all this other great stuff. Oh my gosh. You're, you're making an observatory and you're next to the observatory, it all works out. That's right. Dean, thanks for coming Dean. in. Astrodean.com, right? Whether Astrodean. it's the Dean. eclipse or not, this guy's a great follow yeah. online on Instagram and everything else. So make sure to follow him everywhere. Appreciate thanks you, so much. Thanks, Thank buddy. you. Keep looking up. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and click subscribe to get notifications and stay in the know.